Welcome to the Mobile Cloud Native Automation video demonstrated by Brett Lee, Assistant Engineer at Perfecto Mobile. This video shows how to create a Mobile Cloud Automation script that runs on two different devices utilizing the Script Once technology. Today we are going to create a Native Automation script to log into the Facebook application. So here I have my Native Automation screen open my two devices open that I'm going to create it on and today I'm going to focus on script one technology so a single script with single commands over multiple devices. First what I want to do is create a second variable. What this will allow me to do is when I'm testing my object that I've created I'm able to validate on both devices that what I'm doing is going to work. So I'm going to deselect uh, runtime for DUT2 uh, and we'll leave DUT on and what we'll do is upon execution we will run. Hit OK and let's go ahead and start. So first, just like every script that we create, we start with DUT home. What this does is going to drive the device to its home screen. Next we are going to do a select text object. Here what we're going to do is look for a simple string of Facebook. So within this haystack, we're going to look for a needle. So it's just simple Facebook. In addition, I want to see one advanced parameter that we're going to set, which is my black level of 100. What this allows me to do is analyze the default home screen of the iOS device uh, and return results in a quicker fashion versus not using the black level. So here we're doing within 100% accuracy found it, and it's just a simple string, so it will find Facebook on the Samsung Galaxy as well. So hit OK. And let's go ahead and click on the Facebook application icon. And wait for it to load on the Samsung. And here we go. So. Next, what I want to do is I'm just going to add a simple wait statement. What this will do is allow the application some time to load. I'm going to go ahead and give it a default value of 7. 7 meaning 7 seconds, of course. How I did that is I went into some of the predefined user functions that we have, and you can see we have a vast range of them. So instead of using a text object, image ad, object, or mobile web file, this will allow me to use it accordingly. So just to wait a seven seconds. Next, we're going to use an edit set object. What this will allow me to do is find a needle within the haystack and then anchor off of it accordingly. So in this case, I'm going to look for a login. I'm going to enable my label position. By default, it's to the left. I'm going to say my login anchor is below where I'm going to insert text. And my value that I'm going to put in is my username for my Facebook account. And we need to define a label offset. What this label offset is, is it defines a percentage value of the screen to say that my login sits below where I want to insert my value, which is going to be my email address. So let's try 15% um, at the start. Let's try. Nope, you see here it's not quite high enough. Let's say 18%. And try. And there we go. Some white level in here. And the same thing I just enabled to my level, you can see that didn't work. That's okay, good. We have a login as an anchor point. Our username is email. Actually, I'm going to change my anchor point to password. It's going to be a bit easier to anchor accordingly. We'll say that's below 7%. Let's try. There we go, perfect. Now let's go ahead and change the DUT to DUT2. What this will allow me to do is try with the exact same parameters, but on the Android device and hit try. 
that may not be high enough, so let's go ahead and try this to 9%. And try. Perfect. And let's go back to DC. And try again. Perfect. So you can see that one object will allow me to operate on both devices. We'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we have our email. We're going to again use the edit set object. So we'll click on it, load it. And here this one's going to be a bit easier because our label that we're looking for is exactly where we want to enter text. And here I'm going to enter my password for the enter the password for the label that I've set. So hit try. Again, we're still looking for password, but instead of anchoring above it, we're just going to anchor right directly on it. It's fine. So the DC2, refresh my digital image. Hit try. You of course don't need to do this on every object. There we go. Hit OK. So now we have our launch the Facebook application. We're going to wait a few seconds for it to load the application. Uh, we're going to enter an email value and a password value. And I just thought of something. Let's change this wait values to a checkpoint instead. So delete that and do a sync checkpoint. Click down below. There we go. And we're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going to use the sync checkpoint to wait until it can find the string of password. It'll, of course, by default wait up to 60 seconds. So instead of using a wait statement, this is a far more uh, better way to use validation. Hit OK. There we go. We have our home, open the Facebook application, our text checkpoint. Then we're going to hit our um, edit set value, which is going to enter an email address, our password. And the next thing, of course, we need to leverage our login. So we're going to click on button. Let's type in login. And if I want to validate this on both devices, I do the exact same thing as I did before. But one thing to highlight is you always want to make sure you record under DUT uh, because that's device under test, and that's what we do upon execution. So go to DUT, hit OK and login. All right, so that's pretty much it for the login. So let's go ahead and run it on both devices to make sure it does work. Hit run. We're going to do the iPhone 4S first. And execute. So you can see that it went to its home state. Here we're just looking for the Facebook string. Now we're looking for the same checkpoint. You see it found it. Now we're in it, entering the password. I'm sorry, the username. That ended successfully. Now we're going to enter password. And login. And you can see it successfully ran. Go into the reporting repository, the execution sequence is there, screenshots of every object, and the successful execution. Go back to the same thing. Now we're going to run this on the Samsung Galaxy. Same thing. Go to run. Uh, instead of the iPhone 4S, our DUT is now going to be the S3. Click run. And of course, the exact same text, or I'm sorry, the exact same objects that were created are going to run on both devices, no problems, no changes, no alterations. So we're able to leverage 100% of the script one uh, in this script. The key thing here is uh, load times that it may take on the different devices, which is why I'm using the checkpoint versus the wait value. So once it finds the string of login, we're going to do the exact same thing. Click login, and once it clicks login, the test will say it is successful. And that's all I have.
good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.